Today we'll focus on HLA typing, covering what HLA is, its types, why HLA typing is crucial, the methods of HLA typing, and the technology process and advantages of using NGS for HLA typing. First, let's understand what HLA is. The major histocompatibility complex, also known as the major histocompatibility complex gene, is a gene family present in the genomes of most vertebrates and closely related to the immune system. In humans, the MHC is called the human leukocyte antigen, also known as HLA, and the genes encoding HLA are located on the short arm of chromosome 6 within a range of 3,600 KB containing 224 genetic loci each of which contains numerous alleles. It is currently the most complex genetic polymorphic system known in the human body, with over 10,000 gene polymorphisms. The IPD IMGT slash HLA database stands as a comprehensive repository of HLA alleles, currently documenting over 30,000 alleles. Approximately 1,737 genotypes have been discovered, and apart from identical twins, it is rare to find individuals with the same HLA, hence HLA is referred to as the genetic identity card. Earlier we learned about HLA, so what types of HLA are there? Based on factors such as the structure, function and cellular distribution of gene products, HLA molecules can be classified into three major classes, HLA-I, 2, and 3 genes, each containing multiple loci. HLA-I molecules are expressed on almost all cell surfaces with A, B, and C gene loci, encoding the products of classical HLA-A, HLA-B, HLA-C molecule alpha chains, as well as non-classical HLA-E, HLA-F, HLA-G molecules. Currently, the International Histocompatibility and Immunogenetics Organizations have announced the confirmed allelic genes as 1193 for the A locus, 1800 for the B locus, and 829 for the C locus. HLAI genes are widely present in various tissue cells expressed on the surface of the majority of nucleated cells, albeit at varying levels. HLA-2 class includes the DR, DQ, DP regions, each containing several A and B genes, encoding the alpha and beta chains of HLA-2 molecules. Among these, DRBL has 809 loci, DRB3 has 52 loci, DRB4 has 14 loci, DRB5 has 19 loci, DQBL has 55 loci, and DPBL has 112 loci. HLA-2 is present in B cells, macrophages, dendritic cells, and activated T cells. HLA-3 class antigens are complement components including the C2, C4, BF, and other complement genes. They are found in the serum. Besides the above three types of genes, there are other genes such as HFE, MICA, MICB, TAP1, TAP2. Given the high polymorphism of HLA gene loci and the numerous studies currently advancing the understanding of the relationship between HLA types and diseases, HLA typing is indispensable in immunological analysis. Now let's explore the purpose and significance of HLA testing. If you undergo HLA testing, your HLA typing results can be used for organ and tissue transplantation to carefully match donors and recipients, reducing the risk of rejection. So what does it mean to be HLA positive? Being HLA positive for a specific HLA type indicates the presence of a particular HLA antigen in your genetic profile. For example, if someone tests positive for HLA-B27, it means they have the HLA-B27 antigen in their cells. This information is crucial for understanding disease associations, as positivity for certain HLA types may indicate a higher risk of developing specific autoimmune disorders. Understanding the types of HLA, let's now explore why HLA typing is crucial. In addition to organ transplants, HLA antigens are also associated with autoimmune diseases, infectious diseases, cancers, adverse drug reactions and various other diseases. Therefore, HLA typing is widely used in fields such as transplantation medicine, disease diagnosis and cell immunotherapy. In this section, we delve into the critical application of HLA typing in organ transplantation. 
Clinical practice has demonstrated that apart from identical twins, the main barrier to successful transplantation is the immune rejection in allogeneic transplants. Studies show that kidney transplants between HLA identical siblings have success rates exceeding 90%, but outcomes significantly worsen with even a single allele mismatch, with survival rates dropping drastically with two different alleles. Understanding the essence and function of HLA provides a critical theoretical foundation for transplant matching, representing a major achievement in modern medicine. HLA matching mainly focuses on the HLA-A, HLA-B and HLA-DR loci. A complete match between donor and recipient HLA is necessary for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation to prevent two types of immune reactions. The first involves the patient's immune cells attacking the transplanted donor cells known as host versus graft reaction, resulting in transplant failure. The second reaction, graft versus host disease, occurs when the donor's immune cells attack the patient's tissues and cells, particularly affecting the skin, liver and intestines, leading to severe symptoms and potential fatality. So, which autoimmune diseases are associated with HLA according to existing research? Many autoimmune disorders are closely linked to specific HLA types. For instance, an association exists between ankylosing spondylitis and HLA-B27, while rheumatoid arthritis is associated with HLA-DR4. Type 1 diabetes typically correlates with HLA-DR3 and HLA-DR4, celiac disease with HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8. Multiple sclerosis is linked to HLA-DR2, and both HLA-DR2 and HLA-DR3 are associated with systemic lupus erythematosus. Moreover, HLA typing can be used in various fields. In forensic science, HLA's high polymorphism makes it a reliable genetic marker for individual identification crucial for accurate identity confirmation and paternity testing. In cancer research, certain HLA variants like DR3-DQ2 in gluten-sensitive enteropathy heighten cancer risks. Conversely, HLA also identifies abnormal cells for immune-mediated elimination, supporting early cancer detection. Given the importance of HLA typing, how do we obtain HLA typing results? What methods do we have for HLA typing? Now let's examine the various methods used for HLA typing. HLA typing refers to the detection of HLA diversity with detection methods primarily including serological typing, cellular typing and DNA typing. Serological typing uses micro-complement dependent cytotoxicity tests to identify HLA A, B and C series antigens. Cellular typing involves mixed lymphocyte reactions to determine HLA-D and DP antigen series. DNA typing is a rapidly evolving field employing various methods including PCR and NGS technologies. Commonly used methods for HLA gene typing include PCR-SSP which uses sequence-specific primers for PCR, PCR-SOP, utilizing sequence-specific oligonucleotide probes, SBT, known as sequencing-based typing, qPCR, a fluorescence-based alternative to SSP for detecting amplified products, and NGS, next-generation sequencing-based typing. Undoubtedly, with the rapid development of NGS technology, it holds a prominent advantage in HLA typing. NGS technology involves the sequencing of the full-length HLA genome with high depth and breadth. So how do we use NGS technology for HLA typing? Now we delve deeper into the use of NGS technology for HLA typing. NGS-based methodologies of excellent quality additionally depend on the precise targeting of the pertinent HLA loci accomplished through either PCR or BAIT-based capture techniques. Initially, the concentration of the specific DNA of interest is undertaken, thereafter leading to the sequencing of randomly sheared DNA fragments, culminating in rigorous data analysis. The targeted enrichment of the DNA can be achieved through bait, capturing, long-range PCR amplification, or even the utilization of shorter PCR applicants that encompass the region of focal interest. 
Both strategies, whether PCR-based or bait-based, present distinct advantages and drawbacks. PCR exhibits exceptional specificity in targeted enrichment, minimizing off-target sequence generation during NGS procedures while ensuring high-target coverage. Nonetheless, PCR is susceptible to allelic dropouts attributed to factors such as single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, at primer sites, suboptimal primer performance or amplification biases. In contrast, the bait-based approach mitigates allelic dropout issues by facilitating hybridization with target DNA, even in the presence of a few mismatches between bait and target sequences. NGS alone may not offer exhaustive insight into the entirety of HLA gene haplotypes. To surmount these challenges, we present a comprehensive workflow for HLA class 1 and 2 gene sequencing, employing long-read sequencing technologies such as SMRT and nanopore. This strategy facilitates high-resolution HLA typing and the identification of allele-specific HLA expression, enhancing our understanding of HLA diversity and function. Finally, let's introduce CD Genomics HLA Typing Service. CD Genomics provides a top-tier HLA typing service utilizing advanced NGS and long-read sequencing technologies. Our comprehensive genotyping procedure encompasses HLA loci, the full spectrum of KIR gene variants, and micro B genes. NK cell function, crucial in immune response, depends significantly on the interplay between KIRs and HLA class 1 molecules. Furthermore, Mika and MICB, members of the MHC class Y chain-related gene family, interact with the NK cell receptor NKG2D. Leveraging an extensive database of 40 KIR gene haplotypes, RKIR haplotyping assay accurately identifies unique combinations. In addition, we offer precise typing of MICA and MICB genes, along with analysis of the FC gamma receptor gene family. Our suite of HLA typing services is tailored to address a diverse range of research objectives. It is important to note that CD genomics technical services are intended solely for research purposes and are not suitable for diagnostic procedures. If you have any questions or inquiries, please contact us or visit our website. We are here to provide you with high-quality services.